Hey everyone, Cthulhu Luigi Nice here, back for Milky Way Wishes, and since recording the last mess, I actually changed my TV to not be widescreen, and found my classic controller, or I found it anyway, um, and maybe I won't be doing quite as horribly. So anyway, yeah, the deal with Milky Way Wishes is you don't get any power-ups. Actually, I think you can still get random. I'm not sure, though. Uh-huh. Oh, I had 7,000 points, and I thought I said question mark 1,000. Because I was on Tac Planet. Oh, yeah, you can get Crash and Cook and stuff that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Because they're not, they don't have ability trophies, but other than that, you can't get any copy abilities through eating enemies. And to make up for this, there are super ability trophies, which let you use those abilities whenever you want. So it's sort of worth it. And uh, I don't know what planet I want to start on. I guess I'll just do. Yeah, that green star is Tag's planet. This is. That is the Earth planet. I'm just gonna do the water planet because I sort of bad at it. It's good music, but a lot of things and uh, it wasn't letting me underwater. Let me see. There you go. Yeah, and I think Tac Planet is probably the secret I didn't know about for the longest. I had to like look it up on game FAQs when. Kirby and the amazing Superstar Ultra came out. Uh, I thought there was a door that opened up here. Oh, in the DS version, they have like a little dot showing you how many power ups you've gotten off of a planet. Each planet either has two or three copy trophies, except for Tac Planet, which has one. I'm not sure if Pack Planet actually counts towards your percentage because it's such a secret, but I'm pretty sure there's a door somewhere around here. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is one of the levels with... There we go. That's what I was thinking of. And yeah, Parasol, it's pretty cool. There are a couple I should probably visit ahead of time just so I don't accidentally screw myself out of being able to do stuff like this, or I would have needed fire or something. I don't think there's a, or yeah, there should be an ability scroll up there. I don't think there were any fire enemies. Yeah, see, this is why I typically do it in the order you're supposed to, because I can take myself over like that. Um, how do I, I thought there was some way you could change your ability from here, I guess you need to, oh right. It's a little awkward, it's one of the better uses of the touch screen in Kirby Superstar Ultra, I think. Oh boy, I bothered going down there when I was at full health for that. Yeah. Yeah, if there are any fire guys, we could feasibly go back, but that was dumb of me. I forgot that they did that. I don't know, maybe I'm... Maybe there wasn't anything there. I was pretty sure there was, but maybe... I, oh, okay, never mind. This... I'm, I'm cool. I don't know what that was in there then if it wasn't something important because there's just sword and beam in this planet left. Well, that's good that I don't have to redo things. I still think Tech has a kawaii uh, little picture for his ability when he's the helper. Uh, 
I don't really know how to... Oh, yeah, I mean, it's not like a huge mystery on how to kill any mini-boss, but... It's sort of confusing for me to fight Juke Kid and Iron Man, because, uh... They aren't in any other Kirby games like some of the other bosses are. And I'm not sure their attack patterns, except that they generally will make stars appear in front of them with some of their attacks, because that's how Kirby mini-bosses like to work. And sometimes shoot things at you that you can suck up and spit back at them, of course. Yeah, this boy is... I never was too fond of this part, it was sort of confusing to remember which way to go. Okay, so we're gonna wanna go, like, towards the ability copier, and then... There we go. Cool beam. Should I say cool beams? <laughs> And I'm pretty sure the proper way to go is down here, then through here, and then maybe up here. I think the plan leads to victory. How do you open up the menu with a bunch of these? This is a... okay, the pause menu. For some reason I thought it would be, uh... The... X menu and then the pause menu would just be the normal thing. And yeah, this game has, or Milky Way Wishes has pretty much every every other boss from the other modes based on. I thought I think the color was not blue. I think it was like pink. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Fatty Whale is pink and Kirby Superstar Ultra. No, I think this one was pink because it's in Milky Way Wishes. Okay. Yeah, you can't even be swept up by that. Whoops. Whoops. Just wanted to do some damage to him. so much when you dash and run in midair. You do that and it like affects your momentum and it's cool. And there's apparently a fountain of dreams on every planet in the Kirby solar system.